Stace. in the room when the Holy Spirit first fell on David Roos like that God began to talk to us about a move of the Spirit that would come but when we were in our 20s he said that the greatest move that we would ever see would come upon the children behind us, the generation behind us. And 20 years after I had that prophetic word for John and Carol about Jesus throwing back his head and laughing, because Satan was falling like lightning from heaven. And that the great danger of that day would be to focus on the manifestations and forget that people's names were being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. 20 years, almost to the week, I had another sign. My son broke his neck. The doctor said 95% chance he would never walk again. But suddenly, the toes on his left foot began to wiggle. Then the whole foot began to move. Then the other one. And now we can run. Five weeks later, he walked out of that hospital. a wheelchair or a walker or anything since driving a car now and the Lord said that's the next generation and people say can any good thing come out of there Look at those countries. They're falling. They're bankrupt. They're immobilized. They're quadriplegics, as it were. Can any good thing come out of there? But I tell you, the greatest move of God, the Lord told me when I was 27, would not be our generation but would be the generation behind us, that they would do signs, they would do wonders, they would change nations, they would change, I tell you, they will change society, and society will not change them. And there is a movement. Of reformation coming. And the power of God is going to hit the low places. Justice movements are going to spring up all over the world and make the low places high. Righteousness is going to move into corrupt governments. Brazil, Brazil, get ready. Brazil, Brazil, a wave of my holiness and a wave of my power. Reformation power is coming to the nation of Brazil. And many 
other nations too. Because the low places will be made high. The high places will be made low. For that generation who prepares the way for the coming of the Lord. Wow, Stacy.